Hello, I'm Dr. Ellie Cannon. I'm a GP and a health writer, and I'm going to talk about how to avoid snoring. Now, snoring is a real nuisance problem because it not only affects your own night's sleep, but it affects your partner's night's sleep. And more often than not, it's actually wives and girlfriends or husbands and boyfriends who come in complaining to me about their other half because their sleep is being affected. So what can you do if you are a snorer? The first thing to do is to think about your weight. People who are overweight snore more than other people and it's actually weight around the neck that causes people to snore because the excess weight around the neck collapses your windpipe and stops you breathing properly in and out while you're asleep and that causes the noise of snoring. So losing weight is the first thing to think about. For the same reason it helps if you sleep on your side. By sleeping on your side it takes the pressure off your windpipe and it stops that collapse that I've described. Some people try and put a tennis ball in the back of their pyjamas which means that if when they're asleep they roll onto their back it stops them being on their back and automatically they go back onto their side and this can keep you in a sideways position through the night. Giving up smoking can help to reduce snoring because of the positive effect on your airways and also having a large amount of alcohol before bed also makes people snoring worse so again, if you are a snorer, be careful about the amount of alcohol you take. Raising up the bed so you're actually sleeping slightly upright is another way to take the pressure off the windpipe and to stop snoring. There are certain medical problems that do cause people to snore. For example, some children have large tonsils and adenoids that can cause mouth breathing during the day and snoring at night. And some adults have what is known as a deviated septum, whereby the central part of the nose is actually slightly off-centre, and this also can cause snoring. I have to say, more often than not, with adults who I see who are snoring, there is not actually a medical problem found. If you are prone to snoring, it's important to avoid sleeping tablets, because they can actually make snoring worse. I would be very wary of any device or magic cure that you see offered for snoring because so far no cure has been found that works long term for people who snore. And that is how to avoid snoring.